So we are here today in Victoria, BC, and we are going to be staying here for a couple of nights at the Fairmont Empress Hotel. Now, today I wanted to kind of go through what type of outfits that you can bring to a five-star getaway and kind of how you would pack for it. There's clothing that you cannot wear to certain restaurants. Example, like for breakfast, you can't be wearing your sleepwear uh, to these restaurants. So you always have to kind of be aware before you leave on your trip um, what type of outfits that you need to bring. So I have five outfits for you today that I brought with me on this trip and how it can also give you some ideas of how you should pack for your next five-star getaway. So starting off with outfit number one, we have a very cozy outfit for breakfast. Firstly, we're starting off with these sweatpants from Kos. Now for this pair of pants, what I like is I like how it's very relaxed material is a little bit different on these ones and then on the side here they do have a zip which you can open and close but the thing is i feel like it's pretty flared enough already and so that's why i don't open those zips it has a little bit of a baggy type of look on them so that's why you can see i like to go for shoes with this look in particular that has a wider base because if the shoes are very thin, thinner silhouette, flair on these trousers will probably just like eat it up. This pair of shoes, we are going with the LV trainers. Now, these have a little bit of a gray accent to it, which I like. These are comfortable to go to breakfast in. And like I said, the main thing for breakfast is comfort, right? So everything is pretty relaxed. For the t-shirt, we have a cost t-shirt. Now this is super soft. I wish I could buy a couple more of these t-shirts. And on top, we have a Zara quarter zip. Now this is 100% cotton. It's uh, semi heavyweight, but it kind of just like makes you feel uh, very comfortable and kind of like cozy when you're wearing it. So it's kind of perfect when you go to breakfast. And with this, you can always take off the quarter zip if it gets too hot. You can just drape it around your shoulders or you could just hang it on the seat behind you. So for outfit number two, we have a smart casual outfit. It is still pretty relaxed fit. You can see from the pants that these are a little bit baggier and they're not like the usual trousers that you'd go for. On top, we have a shirt that is also a little bit different from your classic white shirt. Now, I feel like this shirt can be casual and also smart casual as well. Um, the design on the pocket is what separates it from the normal type of white shirts that you would find. The fit is also a little bit bigger, so slightly oversized which gives you that relaxed look that goes with the baggier trousers. And then for the shoes, again, we're gonna go for the white trainers and the reasoning is because it just ties the whole entire outfit together. And so if you really wanted to, you could swap them out for boots, but because I wanted to kind of go with a more casual, relaxed outfit for lunch, then I would go for these trainers. Still gives you a very casual, relaxed vibe with the oversized fit, but at the same time, it is a smart, casual look. Now for outfit number three, this is perfect if you need to sit outside and it's on a colder day. Now I love this outfit because it's super cozy. Now we started off with the navy pants from Uniqlo. Now these ones, in comparison to the beige ones that we just had, see how these ones perfectly sit on the boots. These are much more of a smarter look versus that baggy look. For the top, we went for the army sweater on top of the tank top underneath. And I guess I do like my turtlenecks as well. And yes, it's white, so you need to be careful when you're eating your lunch so that you don't get sauce all over it. But there is, you know, you could bleach it. But anyway, you don't want to get stuff all over this, so you need to be a little bit careful when you eat. Now, I love this. I love the design and also the fit of this. It is slightly oversized. It does run a little bit larger, so if you were to go for a size, I would probably size down. I'm wearing an uh, extra large, so you could probably yeah, definitely size down for this one. For the boots that we have on, these are the Our Legacy boots. 
So the main thing for this is that you'd wear a chunky sweater on top or a slightly oversized one and then team them up with a pair of smart trousers and a pair of boots and you will be good to go. So for this outfit, this is perfect for dinner. And honestly, you cannot go wrong with an all black outfit. So we're starting off with the Uniqlo black trousers. And these are actually similar to the navy ones that I showed in the last outfit. Um, but these ones, the material is actually a little bit less uh, thick than the other one. Nicely fitted on the waist and it just falls very nicely right on top of the boots. We have that Calvin Klein tank top inside and then we also have the Prada shirt on top. Now with this outfit, what I like is you could open up these buttons, have the shirt open like this, or you could just close it up and button the shirt up. I feel like it just fits um, any sort of dinner occasion. It just looks very sleek, very nice. These are obviously the same boots that we were wearing before. And the thing is, if you really look, I only have two pair of shoes that I brought with me. And those are the trainers and the boots. It doesn't need to be too complicated and they can still look very nice. Now for the last outfit, we are gonna wear these pants that I love these LV pants. Now, what I like the most is the detailing in the front, also on the side as well. It also has a zip at the very bottom that you could use, but again, it's just something I never use, but I love the detailing on there. Now, these pants also just fit very nicely on top of the boots. So on top, again, I'm going with the turtleneck. I just feel like turtlenecks you can't really go wrong with especially um, when it is a black turtleneck as well. It just matches with most things. To have the Prada shirt on top as well, just to finish off the outfit. So for this outfit, I will be wearing this to dinner. Um, I think it's perfect. And even if you take this off and just have your turtleneck like this, I think it still works pretty well. So this outfit I feel like is perfect to wear for dinner and it will fit most of the occasions very nicely and it's just a very nice smart casual look so these are the five outfits that i have for you today i hope that it's going to help you and give you some inspiration um, as to what type of outfits you could bring to your next five-star getaway or you know even if you're visiting like a five-star hotel uh, to the restaurants my goal is to just give you some inspiration and some ideas as to what type of outfits that you know you could wear and i want to say that it doesn't need to be exactly you know these pieces but it's more about like the cutting and just how you can match different pieces together different silhouettes and the main thing that i want to actually touch on is pants i feel like pants are always the first thing that goes into an outfit and it kind of dictates the silhouette of the whole entire outfit. I love to be able to mix and match all of my pieces together and just make use of a couple pieces um, and just make it look good with each other. The crew is ready to welcome you on board for your trip to Victoria. Parking within 24 inches or 60 centimeters of the vehicle in front of you will improve the chances of the customer behind you making this sailing. Thank you for sailing with BC Ferries. Just 
Stay.